So let's start to work on how we can custom design our scale with three layers. So this is part one and we're going to work on it step by step. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template ready and the boiler template can be found here on chartus3.com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you scroll down here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support my channel and get access to this source code or many others, check out my Patreon. All right, what we're going to do here first of all is we need to work with the date adapter. We need to add up here the date because this structure would be most logical for the date. So what I'm going to do is I go to chartjs.org, select ecosystem. We're going to scroll down here and just look at adapters. Click on that. We will jump to the adapter section and then we select here date FNS or any other that you want to or prefer to use. I prefer date FNS because it's simple. I only need one JavaScript file. So I'm going to scroll down here and just look for this specific JavaScript file. If you look very carefully, you will see your chart.js adapter date FNS bundle minimize JavaScript file. That's the one I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that in there, save, refresh. Of course, nothing happens because we only added the adapter, but we didn't activate it yet. To activate this, I need to make sure the labels are correct. So I'm going to convert the labels into simple items here. I'm going to put all of these in here. All right, let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. So we're going to do here two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you are, now we have this, but this of course is still a string because this is a category access by default. We need to indicate that this is now a time object or a time scale. So we're going to scroll down here, <clears throat> convert this. I'm going to say here, type will now be the time object. If I save that, refresh, it starts to work. And by default, it gets the unit already, but I want to make sure we specify this specifically. So we're going to say here, time, object <coughs> then we say unit time um sorry not not time but day i want the day if i refresh it just shows the same thing the reason why i need day is i need to make sure we know the moment we hit on one january or one february or any one any date with the first of the month i want to extract that month data that will be very important this is the reason why i'm going to do this here so now we have this here and what I want to do is before I continue on with the next video, just to set up some basics here. So what I'm going to do in here, uh, let's do a comma and I want to remove the border. So I'm going to say border and I would say display, uh, well, border, I guess here we want to show this border, but make it nice and thick. So I'm going to say here, uh, width will be three pixels. If I save that, refresh, now we get this nice three pixels thickness. All right. Then what I want to do is I want to remove the grid lines. So I'm going to say here, grid display false. So it will look nice and clean. There we are. So now we have this. The only thing what I would like to do here is to ensure that this has a proper size of the font. So I'm going to say here, ticks. And within the ticks here, I'm going to say uh, font size or the font. Then I'm going to say the size. This will be 15 pixels. I want to maximize this if I save that like that. And then I want to make it bold. But of course we have to make the rotation later on. So then I'm going to say here a size and then weight will be, uh, I guess, bold. Save that. There we are. All right, so next video, we're going to straighten this up and put in the specific month only.